Can I lose my salvation? Uh, this is a question that uh, people have been burdened with for, for, for a long time. And it's a very legitimate question. I mean, can I be certain that I'm saved? Can I be certain that I'm not going to do something that's going to cause me to be unsaved? <laughs> and what about the devil? Can he cause me to be unsaved? These are some of the questions that have burdened people for, for years. Well, here's the good news. You didn't choose your salvation. God chose you. And here's the good news. Part B, you cannot lose your salvation because God is the one who holds you. Uh, Jesus made it very clear in John chapter 10, verses 27 through 30, where he says, my sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. And no one will snatch them out of my hand. Sound like Jesus is making a pretty clear statement, huh? Can you lose your salvation? No. Did you choose it? No. I give them eternal life. And no one or nothing can snatch them out of my hand. He goes on to say, my father who has given them to me, there's your doctrine of election right there, is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of my father's hand. I and the father are one. Praise God for his grace, right? In choosing us. Praise God for his grace in securing our salvation. Wait a second, does that mean I can just go out and do anything I want? No, 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 no. Those whom the, who have been elected before the foundation of time are those who have been redeemed by Christ at the cross 2,000 years ago, meaning it's an actual redemption. He actually paid for your sins. Well, those who have been elected, chosen before the foundation of time, those who have been redeemed 2,000 years ago are those who will be or are regenerated by God the Holy Spirit, meaning you're made alive, sealed. The Holy Spirit, Ephesians 1, is the deposit, the guarantee of your salvation, right? Let me ask you a question. The Holy Spirit in you. Is the Holy Spirit going to lead you to holiness or sinfulness? Holiness. Is the Holy Spirit going to lead you to follow the world or to follow the word? Is the Holy Spirit going to lead you to be conformed more and more to, to, to the Antichrist or to Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ. So to answer the question when somebody says, well, that means if I'm saved, I can just go do anything you want. My question is this, are you really saved? Because a truly saved person, right, regenerated, spirit-filled person, doesn't mean we're going to be perfect, but we're certainly not going to go out wanting to look like the Antichrist, playing around in the world, right, to dishonor God. Over in chapter 6, same letter, John says in his gospel, quoting Jesus, verse 37, all that the Father gives me, you see, election, will come to me. And the one who comes to me, I will certainly not cast out. Meaning you're not going to lose your salvation. In fact, Jesus goes on to say, in verse 39, this is the will of him, the father who sent me, the son, that of all he has given me, I shall lose none of them. But I will raise them up on the last day. Can you lose your salvation? Not according to the words of Jesus. And I think his words are pretty important, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I mean, he's the one who said, I gave my life for the sheep. And, and he said, I laid down my life for the sheep. And he said, my sheep, hear my voice and follow me. I know them and I give them eternal life. Why do you think Paul rejoiced in Romans 8 saying, nothing can separate us from the love of God, right? Remember he went through that whole list? Shall this, shall that, shall that, shall this and that. And bu -bu 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 -bu. Separates from the love of God? Nope. 
Salvation is all of God's grace. His electing grace, his redeeming grace, his regenerating grace, his sustaining grace, his glorifying grace. That's why we call it amazing grace, and that's why God and God alone gets the glory. Amen.